Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for tuning in again to the Music Workshop every Sunday, 5 to 9 p.m. Central Standard Time. Right now, it's my pleasure to introduce from the Hot Mix 5, his very own Mickey Mixing Oliver. <laughs>
Spinning at the machine every day for all my life I used to do it and I need it It's the only thing I want is just to rush Push Cash Every day for all my life, I'm used to do it and I need it It's the only thing I want is just to rush Push, cash
come strong. Your dreams carry on. Come up, Chicago word. This ain't no joke. Chicago word. This ain't no joke. Pump it up. This ain't no joke. Pump it up. Pump it up.
damn house say rock the house rock the house if you know how to house somebody say oh yeah oh yeah jam jam you ain't hip to the world house music get up already kick drum question do anybody know how to house yeah then get with it
Ladies and gentlemen, Hop Mix 5, Mickey, Mix, and Oliver in the house. Mickey, thank you very much for finally coming down here and doing your thing. I know I've been, uh, we've been talking about this for over a year now between Lee Michaels, you, me, yeah, whatever, absolutely. and so forth. And finally, you know, we finally get you on the show. Nice. Um, I probably spun with you maybe four events already, and, you know, it's just give or take. But finally, we're here. And uh, what did you think? Oh, How's wonderful. your operation? Wonderful. Okay. It's like one of the best I've seen, actually. <laughs> thank not, you, thank you. Yeah, not kidding. One of the best I've seen. Yeah, we, we, we try our best. We try our hardest. We don't claim to be number one. We try our hardest to give the fans a positive show. Um, basically, there's a lot of great Chicago talent in, in Chicago. But, you know, out of here, many don't see that. And I, we try, Global Music DJs, the music workshop on Sundays, we try to expose that out throughout the globe. Last I checked, we had 180 eight countries viewing it might have went up again it's constantly nice. going up and so forth so that's awesome nice. so to have you know two of the hot mix five members here that's awesome and that's that means a lot um mickey what's going on with you i know that you've been doing a lot of um venues and a lot of local stuff and bars and through our berwin and cicero and I, I think that's awesome um what, what's going on what's up with that uh, yeah, I've been playing all around the city. I just moved back home, as I call it, Chicago. Okay. I remember. Broke here. It's home. I always be home, even though I've been in Las Vegas for since like 2010. Uh, I had a show at Planet Hollywood, one of the major theaters there. Uh, Holly Madison and Britney Spears had the upstairs theater. On Thursdays, I had the downstairs theater. So it was a, uh, it was pretty uh, flattering to be able to have a show, and it was the history of house music portrayed in a theatrical environment. Isn't that crazy? Yeah. And it's a lot to digest. It's interesting, you know, to see how you pull that off. Yeah, and I was, uh, I played, I DJed, I did a turntable exhibition, I sang, I played keys, and it was a cast that uh, had multiple wardrobe changes, and it was it was quite the show. Awesome. Mickey, we, um, a lot of us here in Chicago, I'm 41 now, and many that are a little bit older and some that are a little bit younger, we grew up to the Hot Mix 5. We used to run and tune in our, our knob radios and lock on to WBMX and pop in our TDKs or our Maxwell cassettes and record your set, all the other guys' sets and whatnot. And then we would, I would just go back and edit out the drops. WBMX and whatnot. Nice. So nice. You, you were kind of like an inspiration to a lot of us starting out before we even became DJs and knew what a mixer was or that a turntable needed pitch. With that being said, Mickey, you starting off, who are your mentors? Who are your role models to get into the whole spinning uh, vinyl? Well, you know, it's kind of interesting. I get that asked a lot. But when I started, there really wasn't any because we paved the road as a hot mix. Yes, fire. that's why it's interesting to know, for, you know, what made you what made you guys For me, it inspired. was I heard that you could mix records. And I, I don't know, remember who I heard about, but I heard about it. And so I went out and bought some records, and I had one turntable. <laughs> Didn't even know if I could mix, but but I knew music well. Because right. I was growing up as a kid, my mom forced me to play saxophone. Thanks, Mom. In, uh, like, grade school. And then you know, she let me off the hook. I was able to play football in about ninth grade. <laughs> but then uh, I picked up guitar later, so I knew music well. And, and uh, so I started plotting and planning how you could mix stuff. And I kind of worked my way into a club, and I found that I had just kind of have a knack for it. So almost right away, I was able to mix. And I'd only been mixing five months, and then BMX came along, Colin. So I was like a new one. So when I came on the scene, all these guys were like, who's this guy? Because they were all in clubs. They were established. And I was kind of a little embarrassed being around them because I was like the young kid, and I didn't have no 
experience or anything. But Intimidate. Yeah, so I would try to be, you know, respectful to them so they'd accept me in, as one of their guys. But before I knew it, the Hot Mix 5 Blossom and Lee had chose me for the Hot Mix 5 and made me president of the group all that time. And it was really uh, quite a run. And so I'd have to say if, who got me into it, I guess, just I heard about it. And I got myself into it, I guess. That's awesome. I, I just had to ask because, I mean, you ask yourself, you know, if you guys were our inspiration, then who inspired you guys? Yeah. You know, and, and it's interesting to know. I'm sure these guys are out there taking notes down and saying, wow, you know, how, how did that come about? <laughs> um, I know you've been doing some tracks. You've sent me a couple of versions of Intensity and whatnot. What, um, what's on the agenda now? What are you working on? Well, right now, uh, there's a London record label called Midnight Bright Records. And last Saturday was a pre hype about it and so mix mag actually featured me narrating the history of house on a video on mix mag so it was like wow i got on mix mag so then on monday they released a compilation of some of my classics that are re-edited remixed and even some london guys did but after three days it shot up to number two download now on juno download so we're number two on the chart it's so those guys really know what they're doing <laughs> And so then um, come January, I just got a deal with Sony Records in the UK, which you know, I don't know who they partner with over here, probably Sony, but I uh, have a single coming out. It's coming on a compilation first and a single afterwards. It's called Just a Tease. And Russell, who used to work with Green Velvet slash Cashmere, mm -hmm. he's singing vocals. And it's, uh, yeah, it's, I think it's going to be pretty good. And I'll just send it to you. <laughs> yeah, that's gonna be something that's gonna be interesting. We're gonna want to check out. I mean, it's, like it's always two big releases here. One out now and one coming. Okay. And what um, what's going on in the future with Mickey Oliver? Any big plans? Any big concerts or anything under your sleeve that you know that that you're gonna want to promote and put out there and that get people in order to be aware of or what? Yeah, you know, um, I maybe I sometimes I bite off, maybe more than I chew or something, but I. I filmed a television show in Las Vegas, uh -huh. and it was an entertainment variety show, and it was a dance music theme, and I got it on ABC Vegas, and the ratings went from .1 to .0 in one book, and next thing I know, I got on DirecTV, Dish, I was on Fox, affiliates across the country, and it did quite well for me. It's in rerun now, and it's called Intensity. What a, uh -huh. what a coincidence. <laughs> Those are my big records. And uh, so anyway, moving forward, uh, as I moved back to Chicago now this summer, I'm going to produce a Las Vegas-style Chicago-based show on the history of house music. And it's going to be a four-part thing. I'm working on the first part. I wrote the scripts. It starts out with Lee, our good friend Lee. Because Lee, uh, a lot of people don't realize that Lee Michaels, he was this whole, everything you know today, electronic dance music, uh, house, everything you know today, it was because this guy Lee Michaels had an inspiration to bring the art of turntablism to radio. And what came out of that radio station, WBMX, you know, he chose us and it blew up on him because we started playing house music that everybody claims he made house music, but it was a collaboration of the whole city. We just happened to be the mouthpiece playing it. We had three million listeners because of our, you know, when you buy something in the store, it's how it's packaged on the shelf. It's we packaged it with our turntable skills because at that time there were probably the world ahead of the curve. Not today, obviously, but back then we just had a knack here in Chicago. And a lot of Chicago DJs were really good. But um, supposedly we were the cream of the crop and we were called the Hot Mix 5 and we were breaking every house record. But Lee is the guy that started it. So the show comes out, starts with him. There's a narration about Lee and how, how he went about it. Uh, there's going to be mimes, there's going to be aerialists, there's going to be... Uh, choreographed dancers doing eight counts, uh, eventually 3D animations, holograms, uh, specialty performers. The show opens with an, a different narration about what music does. Where words end, music goes on. And it, there's a lot of uh, touching from statements from musicians. You know, I don't, I don't ever claim to have all the good things I come up with, but there's a, a lot of, a lot of uh, striking uh, quotes from major musicians that are, are pretty cool. And so it talks about music, and it makes you, makes you take a step back and really think about what music ha actually does to us. And so that's how it opens. And then it goes in dramatic fashion with uh, music and lights and so forth. But uh, I think it's going to be pretty cool. That's going to be awesome. That's going to be awesome. You, what, what you guys didn't know is anytime you guys play a track on the radio, all the fans ran to go get that record. You know, you guys didn't realize that because 
you know, trial and error. You guys starting off. Right. And literally to know the impact that you had, that every suburb, every north, south, east, west part of the city, central, everywhere, everybody was listening to the Hot Mix 5. We didn't know what you guys looked like. I didn't know if you were Latino or not or whatnot. We just have to go about the last name and decipher and think that we knew what you were. I, you know, again, nothing wrong. I've said this before. I didn't know that Farley was, Jackmaster Funk was black. On, only that he really, you know, when he came on, I was... One of my, I had a cassette ready for his, you know, one of his mixes. But being young, not being able to go to these clubs and see you guys, right. it was all radio personification. We didn't know what you guys looked like. And um, like I said, anytime you guys played a record, I can tell you that I'm one of the guys that would run over to the flea market to Andre and uh, buy either the record or a test press or whatever the hell it was that you guys brought out. And that's pretty much you guys... That's how you guys pretty much moved a lot of this stuff, just by what you played. Yeah, People you know, would follow. You know, Jesse Jones, I talked to him at Loop Records. He, he was here. He was here. When, did yeah, he was here, not to DJ, but he was accompanying Lugo Rosado. Oh, nice. And I got to meet him. He's a great guy. He's supposed to come back and be on the show. But um, I guess he's working on music as well, too. Yeah, Jesse told me that. He goes, what you played on Friday, Saturday, on Monday, guys would hold the cassette tape up and say, I want this. Exactly. He goes, I'd sell a thousand records. He goes, what you had put in your mix. Like, are you crazy? Seriously? He goes, no, I'm not kidding you. So that kind of like confirms yeah, what you're saying. About exactly. And he, uh, I, I'm not sure if he turned Andre on to music, into Sully music. He was mentioning something about it. you know. But I got to hit Jesse Jones up again and get him on the show. It's just that a lot happens um, from the end of our season to the beginning. And we have to try to get back where we were. Right. You know, um, at the last season, Mario had had mixed on here and we talked about doing other things and one of the things was doing a hot mix five show and you know you were in vegas oh so yeah I'm like it'd be great if we can make it down here because that's again that's one of the guys that we we looked up to as far as uh radio that. dj so but anything you want to tell the fans out there mickey any anything upcoming that that you want to promote here's you know you, uh yeah just got a new song coming out uh the current hot mix five compilation on a london record label is just rocking it right now it's an exclusive on juno but it's all the way to number two check it out uh in addition look for my new show coming up this uh 2016 early and it's going to be very interesting it's going to tell the story of history of house it's going to be four parts i'm going to do the once i get to the fourth part i want to take it on tour awesome vegas style any uh where can where can these people see you? I know that you're constantly uh, doing different events and different residencies. Is there a certain residency that you're holding right now that they can catch you on on a weekend basis or what? Yeah, Fridays, first and third Fridays at the P Lounge in Berwyn. I do an all vinyl set. Uh, other than that, I kind of freelance. So check my Facebook page. Everything always comes up there. I'm uh, always somewhere in Chicago. It seems like on weekends. I'll be in Europe a little bit uh, after the first of the year. But I sh usually first and third Fridays is always a good bet. You can catch me at the P Lounge. Awesome. Ladies and gentlemen, that was Mickey Mix and Oliver. It was an honor to have him here. Mickey, thank you very much oh, for coming down here. It's a pleasure to see you, my friend. And, uh, you know, this won't be the last. Oh, absolutely. Well, let's do it again Thanks soon. Thanks for tuning in, everybody. That was Mickey Mix and Oliver, Hot Mix 5, here on the Music Workshop. Peace out.